Okay, this is just going to be a quick little video share of how I do a uh, stamp reflection. Some of you have already seen the ones that I've made where I, how I color my tags. And that one, if you're wondering, was pink picked raspberry. Uh, next, I'm going to use seedless preserves. I tend to forget to do that center, and then I realize it, and I have to go back and do it. Let's go back and put some pink in there. That's okay. We'll just leave that there. This one is abandoned coral. Let's mm -hmm. yeah. see what's out of that, huh? going to do peacock feathers. Having to be a little gentle. This is my second take. The first time I made my tablet fall. And I just made something else fall. <laughs> I haven't got my room straightened back up from when I went camping. You don't realize how much stuff you take with you. get quite a bit accomplished though. I wish I'd have had a few more days and that way I would have been able to get my memory album started for my little brother. Let's go back and put a little bit of pink in the center. And yeah, we're about ready to do image. Just one more step left. I usually wait until I've done everything. If I'm going to use Glimmer Mist on it, I do that at the very last. I can also take and just put a little bit of water in your hand and do droplets on it 
and that gives it a pretty effect. first did the video. Let's do this one. My tag's not big enough, but we will do what I can get over on here. I didn't have anything cut right now. Okay. Now, now all I'm going to do is go back and, okay, this is Masquerade Art Masking Tape. I picked that up at a stamp show in Gatlinburg last October. And... piece of that and put it over the part that I re-inked and then rub see how it's put the image on there and then we're going to lay that down and move that out of the way so you can see I'm just going to take and rub my finger over that. And then peel that off. There you go. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.